was not possible to connect to this network or wireless. Let's learn how to resolve this issue right now. This problem was occurring in a few days in my laptop and I managed to solve it and I will show you how it's done. The first way and how to solve this Wi-Fi wireless internet connection problem and my connection is already working because I already solved it. But here's what I did. I'm gonna right click the Wi-Fi icon and click on open network and internet settings click on it and of course you should have already checked if your Wi-Fi is available or if there is any issue like a, like a temporary internet outage or something similar if not check all those things and only then proceed with the steps alright now you're going to click on the Wi-Fi here in the corner and by the way if I help you and you like to contribute with this channel, I will leave the link in the description below and I will also pin it here with ways to support the channel. Many people have been doing that and it's been a great help for me. If you like to help, I will find a ways to contribute in the video description below, okay? Now going back to the video, now we're going to go on the Manage Names Networks. Click there and now it will show the networks that you are connected to. The ones you previously connected to on this computer or laptop. And what are you going to do? And it's very simple. For most people this method will solve the problem. Click on it in the one that you always use. When you click it, you're gonna click and remove. And when you click on remove, your Wi-Fi will be disconnected and the password will be forgotten. Then what are you going to do? You're gonna close it. Then you are going on the Wi-Fi icon again, and click on Connect again, and put the password all over again. And most likely, it will start working again. For most people, this method works. But if it didn't work for you, let's move on to the second method. The second way to resolve this could not connect to this network Wi-Fi problem. Is as follow. You go to the start button, click with the rub button and look for the device manager. And while it's opening, let me remind, it's not to click on the start button, it's to click with the rub button. If you want to actually click on the menu option, you can also type device manager and it will open as well, that works too. It's just a shot with this screen opened. We are going to look in for the icon for your internet. You are going to look in for something called network adapters. Now to refine, we are going to click on this icon to open it. Usually it's the first one, but when you open those options, you look you're going to look for the Wi-Fi option. Look for wireless at, at the end. When you find it, right click and then go to disable device, alright? For me, it's this Dell Wireless. We're going to click with the rub button and go to disable device. I'm not going to do that because for me it's working, but you should do it. This method you are going to use to disable the internet. And after you disable, you are going to see that the internet icon down there will change. Then you are going to click it once more and right click and then click and enable. In a short resume, you'll be disabling the internet and then enable again. It's like turn it off and turn it on your internet. And this will act like reset for your drive. And if this method worked for you, please leave in the comments because it's very important to me. And if it didn't work, also leave a comment as it helps me bring new methods for you. But anyway, if it's, if it's still not working, let's move on the third and last method. The third way to resolve this problem of the internet not connecting or not recognizing is by restarting the Wi-Fi driver on your laptop. Because of some reason it was deleted because became outdated or uninstalled and now you need to restart it. How do I do that? You should be asking. You can try it updating your device manager, okay? You do the same procedure. Go to the device manager, 
in the same place as the network adapters you're going to open it you wanna click with the right button on your drive and go to update drive but that normally doesn't work so you're going to the next step the way that I actually recommend is a program called drive booster it's a very good program I use it when we have this drive problems because it normally finds the drive on its own I just need to scan and it looks like and it looks for the missing drives it's a free program you can search for it in Google or you can watch this video that I made here on this channel specifically about the drive version and I'll leave that video playing at the end and you can click it to watch it so this so this video doesn't get too long or I will leave you another video right here about another ways to resolve these problems about other ways to solve this internet connection problem okay and the videos will be here and you can watch and you can go watch them if this helped you please leave a comment if you want to help and contribute to this channel that would be wonderful it's a way for me to keep creating these incredible videos for you guys and how to show the doubts and problems of many people if you are not subscribed please subscribe so you don't miss any videos and i will see you in the next